Yeah, so I actually started programming when I was still in school. So in Austria, kind of high school. Um, so around when I was 15, I would say, um, because I was actually in a, like a general school in German gymnasium, but they offered a special, um, like upper level of, of high school with programming and uh, IT as subjects uh, where we also had uh, exams for that. And I was kind of interested in that field and I didn't feel that comfortable going the whole step and going to an, to a technical school, but that was a great, uh, kind of trade off for me between general interests that I had, um, and the technical interests that I had. And so I started actually with kind of web development. So we started with HTML, uh, JavaScript and progressed to Java in school. Exactly. So that's, that's where I started from. My job at Electrobit is as a software developer in an embedded hardware development team. So we are a team of around 20 people, very interdisciplinary, um, all based in Vienna, or most of them are based in Vienna. Um, and we actually work on embedded hardware projects in the automotive space. So Electrobit is generally in the automotive space. And what I really like about it is that we get to see projects really from the start. So maybe a customer comes to us with a problem, we can help them decide what uh, maybe fits their needs and then kind of support the project from beginning to hardware development to FPGA development with VHDL, for example, software development. And then I'm responsible for the testing part of the hardware. So if the hardware and the software is done, I make sure that the um, device actually does what it, it's supposed to do. So my technologies uh, are usually a little bit of C to actually interact with the hardware because in the embedded hardware world, uh, most uh, of the interaction is done with C. And then we use a lot of Python for test automation, test development, just because it's an easy language. Uh, it's really fast in, in, in the development and there are a lot of just packages that you can use to, to make your life easier. And then we use things like Jenkins uh, for uh, just the continuous integration, testing part of things. Exactly. So, and that's also what I really like about it. First of all, it's very diverse. So I get to work with a lot of different uh, people. So from, for example, from the testing perspective, I need to talk to all my colleagues who are working on the device itself, clear up maybe some, some things. And I also get to kind of support a project from the beginning to the end where then the customer interacts with the device. I get feedback. I can maybe, um, also talk to the customer, help them understand, um, maybe some problems or even find improvements for them. And yeah, exactly. So that's, that's what I, I like about it. So I would recommend do what you're interested in, but also don't be scared to try out new things. Um, there are a lot of courses online, online, but also just don't get discouraged if you, uh, yeah, find it hard in the beginning. I think everybody has the things that they find hard in the be beginning. But what I kind of saw was that, for example, during my un university studies, I learned that you can, you, some things are hard, but you can kind of work through that. And uh, also for me, university was a great way to kind of get to know many different um, fields, many different subjects. And even if I didn't like everything, I think for every subject, I got to learn a little bit more. And that made me like an overall better development, an overall better developer as well, because I can now connect many different subjects and many different topics together. I learn new things a lot from my colleagues because we are an interdisciplinary team. So I have colleagues who work in hardware development, in FPGA development, in embedded software development, in project management and, and things like that. And also, for example, at Electrobit, we have a Udemy enterprise access, and there's a lot of things you can 
choose from and make courses or just look into topics that might interest you that are either relevant for your work or not relevant for your work. So uh, that's really nice to, to kind of also get a little bit of an insight into other topics that you're not using maybe in your daily work.